Hey guys, so it's been about two weeks now since Chance has been uploading the recent Challenger series matches onto his channel. And before I go into my perspective and my opinions on this, first of all, I want to say, my goodness, the production levels were insane. They were off the charts. We've never seen anything like that before in arm wrestling. Chance and Dylan really, really went above and beyond for the production for Challenger series and really hats off to them. Huge amount of respect. I can't imagine the amount of work that went on behind the scenes. So Chance, Dylan, and whoever else was on the organization and production team, really, really hats off to you. But yeah, we've had about two weeks or so to sort of let the views come in for the videos. And we've clearly seen the importance of making yourself known, making yourself marketable in the arm wrestling scene. You can see that the most important or the most popular matches obviously were from guys like Matt Mask, Derek Smith, Brad Grundy, Travis Bajant. They had markedly more views than the rest of the pack. And of course, most views so far, big surprise, big surprise, not really. Auden Laird versus James English. But after taking a closer look into the match and the comments specifically, there are about 2,000 plus comments as of the making of this video, you can see that there is some uh, divisiveness in that. So, it is no big news to most of you, I think, that there was some controversy surrounding this match. And um, I wanted to look at it from a little bit more of a objective standpoint. So firstly, I wanted to take some of the comments and actually look at what they're saying. So I used a little tool that I found online to extract just a little sample of about 100 comments from the video, then filtered out some of the uh, comments that couldn't really be read. Maybe they were in foreign language or they were just emojis or something like that and came out to about 80 or so comments from the video. And then I pumped that into chat GPT over here, had it sorted by positive and negative sentiment. And of course, chat GPT is not perfect. As you can see over here, I'm gonna give you guys some examples under positive comments. We have things like this type of stuff is what puts the average person off arm wrestling way too much arguing and complaining blah 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 that's obviously not a positive comment uh so there is some you know errors in the chat gpt assessment but i took a good look over all of it and i think it it did a pretty good job in separating the positive and negative comments and they even gave some neutral comments as well but you can see that there were only 19 positive comments compared to 52 negative comments. But of course, there is some inherent bias to this kind of sampling. There is a general tendency for people to only comment when they're feeling more heavily negative about something as opposed to when they feel more positively about something, there's a general lower tendency to comment on a video. But be that as it may, from what I've seen, negativity way, way, way more represented compared to positive comments. And this got me thinking about the, the proverb, any publicity is good publicity. Now, how applicable is this to arm wrestling i i've been thinking about that you know makes me draw parallels to another sport another quote-unquote sport of slap power slap and now in the sporting community and the the wider community as a whole i think it's pretty unanimous that most people treat slap as uh, almost like a joke um People talk about it in, in a very uh, aloof manner. They don't really consider it a serious sport at all. But it does get views, obviously. Looking at the power slap 
channel over 2 million subscribers their recent event a power slap 7 you know hundreds of thousands of views per video so this is not like just one person that's driving the views each different video each match on the the power slap card has hundreds of thousands of views so you know this kind of thing um it, it's a controversial sport but it makes people watch it the views are coming in you have sponsors like monster you know putting money into the sport and when it comes to arm wrestling we don't really have this level of audience this kind of a uh, sponsorship just yet and i'm wondering if it's because we don't really have enough controversy surrounding the sport I i've talked about this a little bit before in a, in a previous critique of one of the king of table cards and surprise surprise it had Auden on it as well so and don't get me wrong i'm not saying that all of this is Auden's fault or anyone else that is similar to him you know travis Devin, anyone else like that a lot of this also hinges on not just the refs but also the organizers sometimes people don't know that the refs are explicitly told to make matches happen to allow things to just slip under the the radar uh if you will because they want it to be more entertaining and this is not entirely fault of the refs but also the fault of the organizers who want there to be a better show but still refs you have to have the balls to call out things to enforce the rules you are the refs for a reason and it is your job to dictate the match and how it flows it is not for the referees to be bossed around by the arm wrestlers but yeah going back to the question of if this kind of divisiveness in a sport is it really good for us you know, as i mentioned before from a purist's perspective i i really don't care for it for it uh, in fact i'm against it um just from an arm wrestling purist perspective i just want to see matches you know as they are i want to see who the stronger guy is but you know that obviously is not enough to drive the views there's just not enough marketability in the sport of arm wrestling yet as it seems so i don't know what do you guys think do you think we need to have more figures like auden in the sport you know even though sacrificing some sort of what would you call it integrity and some sort of uh, sportsmanship in favor of drama to drive the views is that needed for arm wrestling right now you want to see it in the long run once we've established a reasonable audience base do you want to see just more serious matches and have all these drama things slowly take a back seat let me know in the comments this is a very uh divisive thing to talk about and i'm still not really convinced either way still currently leaning more towards the purist's perspective but from a marketing standpoint i can see where they're coming from but anyway guys so excited for this weekend east versus west 13 as well as the istanbul finals for east versus west qualifiers my man mike ford is gonna be there guys this guy is gonna tear things up the only representative from the asian qualifiers who could go there but also on the main card the first ever east asian on the card ayani takenaka is gonna be there so excited guys pay-per-view link is in the description below go get it catch you guys this weekend